I graduated from Wellesley in 1966. Um, I got married two weeks after graduation, a ring by spring in those days. That was not everyone was doing it, but lots of people were. And I say this to people, and it's it, it, they're very surprised. My mother never worked her whole life. And she was, and she, for her, it was a, a badge of honor that she never had a social security number. She was sort of annoyed when they made her get one when she finally was eligible for Medicare because it meant to her that she'd married well and her husband was taking good care of her. And, you know, this whole um, construct of what a woman's life was all about was something that I grew up with. So my first job, my husband was doing a Ph.D. in New York, and I went to the head of the placement office at Wellesley and said, I'm going to need a job. And we don't have very much money. I'm getting married. And so she said, well, can you type? And I said, no. So the first thing I had to do was learn how to type that summer. And then I worked at Barnard College because she had just picked up the phone and called her counterpart at Barnard College and said, you need to hire this person. And so, um, and it was an amazing time because that was the fall of 1966. And in the, I was there for four years while my husband finished his PhD. In those four years, everything changed. The, so the feminist revolution was cooking, and Kate Stimson and Catherine Millett and these women were writing these just world-changing tomes about feminism. And the, 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 this was the period when Students for a Democratic Society took over Columbia University and were sitting on mantelpieces pieces with red armbands and classes were canceled and and the idea we, when I had been a senior at Wellesley we'd been arguing with the president trying to get permission to stay out on Friday nights until 11:30 we had to be in at 11 on we, on on Saturday we could be out till 1 that was a big deal but on Friday we had to be in at 11 we wanted that extra half hour and we just thought that would be a little bit of a success and I was a student leader we didn't get it. <laughs> she held she held her ground. And within two years, the idea that there would be parietal rules for women in college had completely gone out the window. Three years after I graduated, Hillary Clinton graduated and gave this famous graduation address where she attacked the senior senator from Massachusetts for being in favor of the Vietnam War. So everything changed. And so in that short period of time, when I thought I was just earning a little money, so... Chris could get through graduate school and we could go on, it, w it became clear to me that of course I would have a career and of course my life would be utterly different from the life that my mother had both lived and imagined for me.